Hi, I'm Shannon Carner, the natural farrier from naturalfarrier.com, and I'm introducing a video called Founder, Killing with Kindness. The video I, you're about to see is sad. Um, it was filmed on location. It was unedited. We actually shot it yesterday. This is the first time I've ever seen this horse. Allegedly, it had been foundered for about four weeks. Um, it had no medical attention, no vet. Um, nothing but a little butte that the owner was giving it. And the reason I filmed this video is I wanted you to see the importance of founder and its effects on horses. Um, main thing I see right now is a lot of fat horses, and I'd love to ask owners to please get grazing muzzles or put them on a dry lot. If your horse is so fat that you cannot feel his ribs, he's overweight and he's running the risk of foundering. Um, I wanted to explain to you, first of all, what founder is. We all know that it's a devastating con condition that's very painful for your horse's foot, but I wanted to share with you exactly what happens with Founder. This is a hoof capsule off of a cadaver hoof, obviously. Underneath you can see a sole, and this is a relatively normal hoof. Inside here is the coffin bone. Now in the case of Founder, if your horse, um, what happens is the lamina, which are these tiny little finger-like things inside here, what happens with Founder is they become inflamed and they swell. And when they swell, they lose attachment to the hoof wall. And the bone can actually rotate. So this is a coffin bone. So if this was your normal foot and this is a normal placement for your coffin bone, your coffin bone can actually tilt downwards. In the video, this is actually what's happening to this mare. When I press her sole, um, her coffin bone should be right about here, and when I press her foot in the video, the sole gives, which is absolutely not normal. It gives, and um, she has an obvious pain response, showing that the coffin bone had rotated enough that it was right at the sole. It was about to break through the sole. The number one sign that your horse is foundering is you're going to have acute pain. Um, you're going to feel the outside of the hoof, and you're going to notice that the foot is hot. You'll feel a a bounding digital pulse in the back of their pastern. When you feel their pastern, you're going to feel a very heavy heartbeat. Um, the horse in the video was obviously in pain. She was panting. She was unable to put weight on her feet. I believe she was foundering in all four feet, so the bone was actually trying to rotate through all four of her hoof capsules. So you can see in the film she's standing under herself. A normal founder stance if your horse is standing with his front feet forward, that's the number one and first sign that you're going to see with founder. Call the vet immediately. Second, call your farrier. Third, put something on their feet to help them feel better. Um, a piece of styrofoam. Um, our, we sell the therapeutic hoof RX pads if you've got them on hand. I don't care what you put on there. Just put something to help them feel comfortable. Um, say you had a hoof RX pad or a piece of styrofoam, just duct tape it to the bottom. That'll give them some immediate relief. The mare in this film should have had immediately immediate relief when I put on the hoof RX pads and she did not. You can see she was obviously very uncomfortable. Um, that late stage of founder in four weeks without any help, um, she was not savable and I actually had to put her down. But again, I filmed this because I wanted to show you the importance of listening to your vet, listening to your farrier. A dry lot or a grazing muzzle for a few months out of the year is not cruel. Um, the fate of founder is far worse. Um, for more information and articles, Please visit my website, naturalfarrier.com. Yes, she picked up the other one. Yeah, that one's probably the worst. Yeah. Okay. But see, she's kind of off of this back one over here. Yeah. And that kind of makes me a little afraid of what's going on back there. Let's see what's going on here. She abscessed out of the back. You notice that? Yeah, it looks pretty rough. I was going to say, like, right out of where it comes to the back side. Yeah. Where it, I mean, I could push on the frog, and I milked it out, and, I mean, it was, like, the stinkingest, nasty crap, just pus and ooze and stuff pouring out two uh. days ago. Push on well, from the frog to the back of the heel. Ooh. See? Really, yeah. really bad. Wow, poor baby girl. I'm sorry. I know. I'm going to trim a little bit of your foot. Oh, I know. I know. Oh. She's really tender right there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, she really, really, really needs some x-rays is what yeah. she needs. She might have rotated. Right there on that yep, that's where the coffin bone is.
There we go. Okay. Camera's rolling. Okay. I'm Shannon Carner, the natural farrier from CarnerEquinePodiatry.com, and we're here today with the foundered horse. Um, she's been foundered about four weeks, and I just got the call today. And you can see kind of how she's standing. Her hind end's parked up underneath her, so she's in a lot of pain. Um, and so we're going to try to help her feel better. We have the therapeutic pads, the Hufarex pads, and I've shaved down some of the toe. So this is going to help her break over, and it's going to help her get a little relief. Um, her owner isn't able to do x-rays, but I'm going to show you. We think she may have some rotation. Stand up. So one of the signs we're going to look for with founder is your horse standing in an odd way. She's trying to take weight off of her front end, and she's camped up underneath herself. Um, and another thing will be um, a really fast digital pulse right here, and heat in the feet, and she's got both. And the bottom of the foot right here is where her coffin bone is located. And if I press just with my fingers, you can see how much pain she's in. So what we're going to do right now, just before the vet arrives, is we're going to go ahead and put the pads in her feet and kind of make her feel a little bit better. Until we know the degree of the rotation, she's pretty close to her soul, it's a really bad sign. Until we understand the degree of her rotation, if we're able to get x-rays, uh, we'll be able to find out whether we can save her. Okay, we're back. Um, we've managed to get four boots on all four feet, and we've got the Hafar X pads on. Um, after an acute founder, if you, if you know your horse is foundering, uh, one of the first things you need to do is call the vet. Second thing is to get something on their feet to give them a little cushion until the vet can arrive. Um, you can tell here she's in pain. She's breathing hard. Um, like we said before, she's got a pretty heavy digital pulse. Um, let me check right here. She's got heat in both front feet. Um, when founder is affecting the front feet, they'll be camped out. So her, she would be standing like this and her hind feet would be under her. You can see she's hurting in all four feet, all feet, all of her feet are underneath her, so she's in a lot of pain. She's been like this for four weeks, so um, the only chance she's got is a vet to come out here and do some x-rays and see, but I think she's got rotation, as we showed before, pressing on the sole. Um, this girl's in a lot of pain. So um, just one of the things to remember, if your horse is in the acute stages of founder, um, first thing you need to do is remove all feed and hay. Um, absolutely do not feed them anything. Get the vet out as soon as you can. Um, again, if your horse is very fat, um, she was pretty fat about four weeks ago. She's lost about 100 pounds. You still can barely feel her ribs. You should be able to feel your horse's ribs, not see them. Um, she's got a little bit of a fat deposit around her neck. It doesn't look that bad. If your horse is crusty, if you can feel a lot of fat up here, they're, they're having signs of insulin resistance, and you're going to need to start worrying about founder. Um, another thing you would check for is fatty deposits along the top of the rump. She's got a slight amount. Um, another thing is a deep crease where that fat deposits along the back. Again, she's lost a lot of weight, but she still needs um, a diet, probably another 100, 150 pounds. But listen to your farrier, listen to your vet. You, they're just going to be killed with kindness. Um, sweet feed is the worst thing you can feed your horses. Um, get them off lush grass. They, they're gaining a lot of weight. It's, um, this is a terrible condition. This is the second largest killer of horses behind colic. So please pay close attention to your horse's condition because this is incredibly painful. And she runs a really good risk of her bone coming through the bottom of her foot, and there's not a lot you can do for that. So for more information on Founder, please visit my website, naturalfarrier.com, um, and we'll hopefully have some good updates for her um, on my Natural Farrier page on Facebook. So thank you.